Hey, this is Nick Frost from Cohere. Just making a quick video to demo the uh, Sandbox uh, grounded QA bot that uh, we released open source today. It's a little project I've been working on for a while um, that attempts to answer questions factually using large language models by combining our API, the Cohere API, with a search API. Um, so here I've made this disk got plugged into a Discord bot, and that means you can ask a question like, when was the fall of the Byzantine Empire? Um, you just do an emoji react to trigger the bot. And that launches the bot doing the process that I'll, I'll walk through up here. Got this nice flow chart here. But effectively, what it does is it first tries to contextualize the question based on the conversation above. Um, then it tries to Google search that contextualized question. It finds relevant information, and it uses co.embed to reduce that relevant information. Um, and then it uses generate to finally synthesize that relevant information into a conversational answer. So here I've said, when was the fall of the Byzantine Empire? It says the fall of the Byzantine Empire was in 1453, and here are the, the websites that it pulled that information from. So that's kind, of, that's kind of cool, but what's more useful for this is that you can have like a natural conversation with it. So I can say, um, how did it fall? An emoji react again. And so the first step will be to, if I just Google searched, how did it fall? That's not going to come up with relevant information. But this will be expanded into how did the Byzantine Empire fall? Um, and that will be done with a call to cohere.generate. That's a few shot example that takes a bunch of chat logs, questions, and then the relevant contextualized question. So that's the first step. We can see here it's come back with the Byzantine Empire fell in 1533 after the Ottoman army, army stormed Constantinople during the reign of Constantine the 11th. Uh, that is all true. Uh, a very interesting moment in human history. Um, but let's see if we can dive a little deeper here and say, you know, who was leading the Ottoman at that time? Um, again, contextualized question here. Oh, I have to trigger it. So the first step will be to contextualize it with the call to generate, Google search that, um, and then find relevant information. So there's a few projects that have come out that are kind of uh, trying to tackle this problem. And, and the, it's tackling a fundamental problem um, in language models, which is that they're not good sources of truth. Like large language, language models are amazing as ever, at lots of things. And during their training, some information is encoded in the weights. But that information isn't timely because we train them on data from, from all over, you know, from 10 years ago. Some of the data, we, we just train them on data from the web. Um, and it doesn't update as things change. So large language models, although they can do some question answering unprompted, like it's not really a good place to, to get factual information. But Google search is quite good at that because it uses a consensus mechanism by looking at what people, what links people click on. So this is using a Cohere language model for contextualizing, understanding what the question is, and then finding the relevant information within the Google search results, and then synthesizing that information into uh, a correct answer. Um, but it's, not using, the, it's using, not using the language models to get that original information. It's using Google search and the consensus mechanism within Google search um, for figuring out kind of what, it, what is true. So the end result of this is that you know, there's a bot sits in Discord, you can ask it questions, you can have an ongoing conversation with it, and it will give you uh, factual information um, and where it, where it uh, got that information in the links. Now, there's a few failure modes of this. One of the failure modes um, that I've noticed is if you ask questions that like imply something that is not true, Google searching that won't come up with information that says that didn't happen. So if I say, you know, who is the king of America? America d does not have a king, but if I Google search this question, um, it will probably come up with something and say something. I'm not sure what it does. Let, 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 let's see. Um, but this is one of the reasons why we've open sourced this project. Uh, this is a really fun thing to work on with the Cohere API. I'm using Cohere API and SERP API. Um, it's quite good when you're asking questions that are grounded in reality. But there's still some failure modes. And so open sourcing it, um, if you think you have some creative ways of, of tackling this problem, uh, yeah, Barack Obama. Okay. Uh, in some ways, uh, conceptually, I understand it, uh, but not not true. But Google searching who is the king of America didn't come up with something saying there isn't a king. So yeah, uh, if you think you might have some creative ways of solving this problem, uh, feel free to contribute to the project. It's under the Cohere repo. 
uh, GitHub. It's under the Sandbox repository, uh, Sandbox Grounded QA. Uh, please, please contribute. It's a really fun project to work on. Uh, I'd love to have your uh, have your help. Cool. Bye.